Rightly or wrongly, we feel that echo chambers are now the biggest divisive threat to UK politics. An echo chamber can be defined as an environment in which a person encounters only beliefs and opinions that coincide with their own, so that existing views are reinforced and alternative ideas are not considered. Unfortunately, this leads to misinformation, a distorted perspective of the world, and an inability to hold a civilized and reasoned conversation. Arguably, if you find yourself in an echo chamber, you are effectively talking to yourself. When new information or situations come about, it tends to be dealt with by the psychological term confirmation bias, which is the tendency to interpret new evidence as confirmation of one's own existing beliefs or theories. We only have to look at the USA to see how divisive this situation is. The Trump-Biden fiasco is a total disaster for everyone concerned. The ability to have civilised discourse has almost totally been erased as people on both sides only take on board one side of the news feed. The end result is polarisation and a fragile society that stretches democracy to its limits. Unfortunately, both Trump and Biden now engage in reputation destruction tactics, which is a total nonsense. It would appear that social media platforms have a lot to answer for. In the UK, we can go back to November 1982 and the launch of Channel 4, which was brought about by the need for greater creativity and alternative thinking. Before this date, there was only BBC One, BBC Two, and ITV dictating the news feed. Two months later, on the 1st of January 1983, the internet was officially born. Since then, in the last 40 years, we have seen massive changes in how society receives its news information, to the point that there is now hardly anyone under 35 who now reads a daily newspaper. Instead, in order to survive, News outlets now have to identify their target audiences and give them what they want in order to survive. GB News is a classic example of how an echo chamber can be built quickly and efficiently. You can almost pinpoint its following as being a Brexiteer, against mass immigration, pro-Trump, anti-woke, against net zero and ULEZ, and sceptical of the LGBTQI community, to name just a few. As a result, sophisticated algorithms operated by social media platforms then identify information of echo chambers interest and introduce it via recommendation tactics. They then make their money by selling advertising of products and services which will be of interest to the target audience. Fundamentally, once an echo chamber is built, it is then controlled by dark forces. Alternatively, the typical Guardian reader will be a Remainer, will hate the Tories with a passion, will be supportive of the BBC, will be supportive of gay pride, will be net zero enthusiasts, will have been supporters of lockdown and pro-vaccination for all, will be pro-woke and be familiar with such terms as white privilege and white male patriarchy, despite claiming to be anti-racist. We'll be supportive of the Ukraine against Russia. And, here is the key point, we'll say that GB News is a right-wing fascist medium without ever having watched it. Sadly, these two echo chambers are totally polarised in the UK and we now have a situation where Never the twain shall meet. Being aware of this problem as a threat to stability, safety and the future of the UK is essential if we are to make headway in the middle ground. As it stands, if we do not overcome the adverse effects of echo chambers and their destructive outcomes, sadly, it could be 
that we are all off to hell in a handcart. <laughs>